Are you worried or concerned about what's going on in the world? Will there be a tomorrow? Have you been watching all kinds of YouTube channels that are over sensationalizing things that are going on and have been predicting doom and gloom and the end of the world for three or four years now? Have you been look? have you been hearing about food shortages only to not see food shortages with your own eyes? So you're confused and not sure what to do. Should you prepare? Should you not prepare? When's the right time? Um, should I start now? How do I start? And can I do it inexpensively? Well, those are the questions that I would like to answer for you right now, and we'll start out with food preparation. Uh, so I'm going to show you a very easy and inexpensive way to prepare yourself when it, when it comes to feeding you and your family on a budget and very easily. So sit back. I hope you enjoy the video. I'm Dave, and this is BHG Media Group. Before we get started, I want to again thank you for watching this video, and if you wouldn't mind hitting that like or subscribe button, uh, that does tell me that you enjoy this type of content. This is the first type of video I've done. Uh, even though I've been a prepper for many, many years, uh, my channel is really, I haven't really done a lot of this on my channel, but I do want to start doing this uh, more. Uh, so again, if you enjoy this type of content, let me know. Leave it down in the comments below, and uh, appreciate it. So let's get started. All right. So this video is going to be strictly on food and uh, going to be some of the easiest stuff that I've, I've found uh, and I can pass along to anybody who's seasoned or just concerned and wants to have uh, some kind of backup plan for any occasion. Um, this works for, for any occasion. Uh, the first thing that you're going to need, and uh, mine's already filled up, but uh, I'll show you, and oh, before we get too far into it, I am not endorsed or sponsored by any of the products that I'm going to show you. Uh, it's just the stuff that I found that seems to work good for me. Uh, so what you're going to need is a container. Uh, what you're going to look for is the, the handles that lock as well as the lid that has, see this gasket around here? That's going to keep your store, um, your your food and stuff stored with uh, without getting wet. If it, so if you have to bug out and it's in the rain, you can carry this and you don't have to worry about your food inside getting wet. Uh, this container I got at Walmart. It's sterile, Sterilite brand. I know Hefty makes uh, the same type of brand. And... Um, it was less than ten dollars uh, for this twenty liter or twenty quart, twenty quart thing, and you can fit. You can see you can fit quite a bit in here. Uh, the other nice thing about these containers is that they stack, so they're easy to to store. Uh, if you want to just fill fill them up and throw them in the closet, they can stack in the closet. Uh, <clears throat> I have different bins with different food. Um, I have rice in them i have uh pancake mix in them um but this one here has a good mix of of what i wanted to show and uh we're going to be looking at like freeze-dried stuff so this is if you don't have the money to buy the really expensive i'm sure you've seen the commercials for the uh the very expensive freeze-dried uh emergency food uh, they also sell it at Walmart, and, and again, it is not cheap. But what you can do is you buy food like these dried mashed potatoes, these dried noodles, as well as you can even get uh, ramen noodles. Where and what what you're looking for is on the back of the of the package at the directions. And you're looking for food that needs only water to make. So you don't want stuff that requires butter, milk, or anything else. Because in a case of an emergency, you're not going to know if you're going to have that kind of stuff around. Uh, so you want to make sure you just have uh, things that you can make with water. And these things are like $1.50 a pack. Uh, the ramen is even cheaper. Uh, so you can you can you can just stuff it to the gills, and a family of three, 
I mean, this is going to feed my family if we ration it for, for probably a, a month. Um, and it's very inexpensive. So it's like $10 so far for the, the container. And then, I don't know, maybe... 20 maybe 30 dollars for worth of food in here so far um but there's other options available too like i said i've had i have containers with white and brown rice and also with pancake mix again the secret is just making sure that it only needs water to be prepared all right so you have this food you have your container but uh, what are you going to use to cook it? Now, if the electricity is out, there's no gas, um, you may not have a propane stove to use. Uh, what I have found and would suggest is what's called a Kelly kettle. I'm gonna put over, I'm gonna put over here uh, the, the Kelly kettle information here, but, uh, but this is what it is. This is the big one and so basically what it is, is it's a, a way to cook and purify water. So your water would go in here and it's lined. So you can see it's hollow, but the water is in between. It's in the, in the liner and it will boil the water while you, while you're cooking. So you have your base with the hole. Okay, you put your wood, put your wood in there, you light it on fire, it boils the water, all right? Now there's attachments, there's attachments that you can use. Okay, that you can put on. And now you have a cooking surface. So you can grill meat on there or you can boil your water and then this is how you cook your noodles, your mashed potatoes. You cook your ramen in this, uh, soups. If you have canned food saved up maybe, because here's the point. So the, po the point is this, you in an emergency situation, you don't know what you're gonna have and not have, especially if you're not really prepared. If you're not gonna have a butane stove, propane stove, or a, a means to cook food, you're always going to have things you can burn. Now, whether if it's really bad, you're stuck in your house. I mean, you can burn furniture, you can burn paper, but you're always going to have the means to burn. The, and this is why I believe this is one of the best product out there. It's not that expensive. You don't need the big one. Um, and whether you're stuck at home, on the road, out in the woods, Again, you're always going to have the ability to burn. Uh, creek, you can you can boil the water and, and sanitize it, and it's just a great overall tool, um, especially when you pair it with your your freeze dried foods like I've showed you that require only water. So when you require only water, you, this thing works great. You're fed, your family's fed, and uh, that's probably the the least inexpensive uh, way I can show you to help keep you guys alive uh, the longest. So I hope this video was informational uh, by seeing what I've done. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I uh, haven't used a Kelly kettle myself yet, but I'm glad that I at least have it just in case. So that's my recommendation. That's kind of like my, my uh, I don't want to say my poor man's uh, um like freeze dried food because I, I I don't have the money for for that kind <laughs> for the, all those buckets that you see of com uh, commercials for and to get a proper freeze dryer I don't have the the money for that too uh, the expiration dates on these they they last longer than it says but they're usually always one or two years out uh, but I hope that just gives you a good roadmap of. Uh, what may or idea uh, for yourself uh, and a good starting point and then you can go from there um, let me know what you guys have done in the comments below again hit that like and subscribe button i appreciate it and thanks for watching and until next time i will talk to you guys later and stay safe